<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh. And welcome back to Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just be upfront with you. The first four episodes you just you may have just seen if you're watching this back to back. Uh, I recorded that back in December. Uh, it was this LP was meant to be. Uh, how do I put it? It was meant to be the first LP of the year. I was supposed to release this back in January. But, as many of you know, I went through a major loss in my life. And, uh, also to be quite frank with you, this is the first time I am recording uh, since. Uh, sure, I've streamed here and there, but uh, I have not yet recorded anything since then. Uh, and frankly, I feel like I'm going to be very rusty and I do apologize. Uh, and also with that being said, I forgot almost everything there is about this game. I tried rewatching some of my, uh, some of the videos I've already done and it's like, okay, I'm kind of up to speed a little bit, but, um, yeah. So I do apologize if I'm going to be a little confused or a little bit like, what the hell's going on here, but, you know, considering the circumstances, that's that. But, um, I just want to thank you all for being there for me and, uh, just always being supportive and always being patient. I will always, always appreciate it. Regardless, uh, I believe right now we are going to play Sekiga uh, Sekigahara's prologue, and we've seen him a few times in other people's stories, and uh, we're just going to see what the hell's going to happen. following me of course I do you can't escape us a hey, Sekigahara Sekigahara what do you want from me tell me <sighs> guess you have a death wish wait it's because you came from another dimension another dimension enough with the games tell me the truth Resistance is futile. Surrender now, or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. <laughs> Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories, they're gone. Oh boy, Amnesia! Don't you just love that? And I know this game has time travel in it. We've seen that already. But now we're delving into other dimensions as well? Okay, I, I will take it. You know, like, I, I just don't know what to say or do anymore. And did we kill this man? I, I don't think we did. No, he's breathing. Never mind, he's fine. Don't worry about him. Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? It's another big mystery. Ooh, look, we're gonna steal from him. Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? 
So, is it just me, or do all the items that we've obtained in this game so far are just gigantic? Like, he said that communication device was huge. Uh, and, um, yeah, it was big. But that wallet was huge, too. I mean, if anything, it looked like a clutch. Like, all right, then. Um, I guess that's that. And we got, we have the, the thought clouds here. So, let's, like, look at that. Look how big that phaser is. Look how he's holding it, too. Like, it's all delicate. Uh, let's examine. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Hey, Seki Gahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. I did not realize that they had 500 yen uh, bills. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? I'm sorry, isn't that the... <laughs> the well-endowed nur nurse there to the left? <laughs> that I remember. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Strange gun and no memories. Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Is this thing real? Why would I? All right, never mind. All right, so before we look at the obvious thing here, let's see if there's anything else. Are, are you telling me that Manila envelope right there is not important? I guess not, or at least not yet. Well, that's right. I can hold circle to run. That's good to know. Just walk past a nurse. Never mind. Collapsed woman. Hey, miss. Are you okay? <sighs> she isn't breathing. I wonder... What happened here? It's no use. I still can't remember anything. <sighs> Is it possible that... I did this? Of course you need to kill her off, right? And wait a minute, wasn't she, like, in some, like, black velvet jumpsuit with one of the other characters' prologue? Like, this nurse character, she is a, is a Morimura or something like that. She's very mysterious, but I, I was hoping she would be here longer. Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? That is a very logical conclusion, and if you did, I hate you. Not sure what else we can do at the moment. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is that right there? 
This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Okay, but before we do that, can we look at this envelope? I swear I feel like this envelope needs to be important. I, I just don't know why. I'm like adamant that it has to be important. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. Yep, that doesn't help me one bit, but okay. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says 4436853214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? As long as I don't need to remember that sequence, then I'll be fine. I'll leave that up to the characters themselves. She has nothing else on her. Okay. Now is that manila envelope important? There's nothing else here. Oh. I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. And... A key. But to what? Going back to the argument that th these items are humongous. What the hell's up with that damn key? <laughs> There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar. But I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me. In one way or another. Now, I believe he ran into Fuyusaka. Uh, she was running late to school, I believe. And uh, they bumped, in, bumped into each other. I guess she dropped it? Like, I'm trying to remember back to the video I saw, and uh, I think that's what happened, so... I guess that explains that. I told you it was important! You don't just leave a manila envelope on the ground, have it kind of be contrasted a little bit differently compared to everything else in the background, and not expect me to not be suspicious of it. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. Are you gonna open it and see what's inside? I guess not. Uh, is there anything else? Well, wait, is this in red now? I know sometimes we can, like, connect things, but I don't know if I can do that right now. She has nothing else up. Or maybe maybe it's not right. Maybe it's faded out. I really can't tell. Okay, so what do I do? There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation. Teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Oh, you know what I just also realized as well? I think when they're still in gray, uh, when they're still in green, you can keep checking the item. And I'm also trying to remember, like, if you look at the top right, that indicates, like, what keywords you may or may not have. I guess, like, the... So it's three green, which means we can still investigate three of them. I'm not sure what it means when it's in red. I, uh... I'm not sure. 
It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a female student. Iori Fuyusaka, Class 1B. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. You know, I feel old knowing that I am the same age as Morimura right now. And, like, that means, like, in RPG standards or, like, just anime standards, I am the old, wise character. <laughs> like, it's like, it, 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 like, we, you pass, like, teenage years, maybe 2021, 20, you're automatically just old. And it's like, why, why can't we have a series that focuses more on older characters? I am not saying that doesn't exist already. But I feel like we should have more of them. I know I'm just nitpicking. I'm just being stupid, but still. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of... Sh a note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Okay, so everything is now selected. What's still green is Morimura's files. I'm not really sure what I can do with that now. Uh, oh, there you go. And then I connect it with her. There you go. Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. Place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. But they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. So we apparently just learned that he can phase shift to freaking run away and hide. <laughs> what do I do now? If I don't get my memories back... What'll happen to me? Hey! Hey! I forgot who you were. I know you're not called Strange Girl, but I, I know that we've seen you before. She's like the tough uh, female character in the game. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so there's more. Th I guess we can re examine this stuff. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. A. Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar, but it apparently belongs to me. It's a student ID from Sakura. It appears to belong to Iori... Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikish, the one I found dead. A note that was included with the... F it says, if capture is not... Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? The mystery thickens. Now, before we talk to the strange girl, 
I'll just run away. I'm scared. Uh, I don't see anything else to do, so... All right, strange girl, what do you want? Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. Thank you? I mean, <laughs> she is looking out for me, but uh, still. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. Was that not there when I went to the right? Or maybe the screen didn't go that far enough to the right. Or maybe I'm just blind. They pick any of the damn columns at this point. I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Just go get your package. I don't understand. Do you know me? I'm coming. All right, all right. I'll get the damn package. See ya. Wait, no! Strange girl, don't leave me! And she left me. Okay. But she was quick as hell to leave, too. Like, bye! As soon as I turned my back to her. That girl said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But... There was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> but don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. supposed to believe all that still it does line up with what those men in black were saying first things first I need to get out of here if what that girl said is true then I'm not safe here so I'd like to believe if any one of us saw a video of ourselves that like like a recorded video of ourselves talking to ourselves, yeah, I I think I'd be inclined to believe what the hell they say. I'd I'd like to believe, but then again, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I've not been in that situation, and I probably don't want to be. So I picked up five mystery files and three event archives. I really hope I'm not missing anything when it comes to this game, but. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah! I forgot this game has... The, well, I didn't really forget, but... Uh, these... Art, I don't want to say RTS, like, you know, Sentinel tank battles, tactical battles. Uh, oh man, I, I hope I don't suck at these more, because I... Kind of forgot how these went, but here we go. Sentinels. Some are even fighting. Hey, Taro. Holding up all right? 
Kakatoshi-san. So it was you. No matter the war, it's an honor to fight at your side. Shinonome-kun, you deployed without permission from the Shikishima facility? It's my sentinel, isn't it? Another sentinel's being transmitted close by. Quite a party here. Did I miss an invitation? Eikun! You came too, Sekigahara? And why are you in that sentinel? As long as it's functional, does it matter? I didn't come here for more of Sekigahara's flim flam. I'm going back to the front lines. Wait, stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. Fine. So you call the shots. You're the only one here with command experience. We will split into teams individually prioritizing attack and defense. The assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? Oh boy, okay. Uh, so our victory condition here is either activate Aegis or destroy all the Kaiju. But uh, we'll lose if any of the ter if the terminals destroyed or any of the pilots are killed. Gotcha. I'm worried this is gonna get more and more complicated because there's more and more sentinels on the field. But uh, I'm just hoping that I don't screw this up. See the time remaining until the self defense system he just activates is displayed on top of the screen. Really? I I, well, I guess I never showed before. Okay. Uh, we got two minutes. Top left, we see a defense. Uh, was that always there? Man, I can't remember. Okay. Clear the stage by either protecting the terminal until the system activates or destroy the enemies until their assault ends. Oh my god, I forgot how to play. How? Oh. I was like, I'm pushing X. It's like, you idiot. You need to have the cursor over a sentinel. So, holy crap, man, we have many, many, many Sentinels here, and I forgot, depending on what generation they are, they do various things. So, like, these Gen 1s are tanky, like, melee, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like, see, like, Rush Attack, Leap Attack, Tackle. The Gen 3, I think they're long range? Yeah, Rapid Cannon's long range, Main Battery, Heavy Railgun. Uh, Gen 2, are they like a mixture? Heavy Knuckles and Multi-Rocket Launchers and... That was Guardian, did I do this? Place a Guardian in a target area, acts as a decoy, distracting Kaiju. Okay. Actually, I don't think we ever played as... Who is this? I don't know who this is. Sentinel number 14? Uh, Shinonome? I... I can't remember, unfortunately. I... My brain's blah right now. Uh, Gen 2... Uh, Gen 4? Four? Did we play as go to already? I can't remember, but our mounted pulse lasers, fi uh, flare torpedo, uh, interesting multi lock missiles. Okay. Ah, uh, man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Let's we'll see what's what's over here. We have a bunch of hunter stuff. Can I just? Oh, this is not even gonna take care of a lot of them. Who is next to you? Oh my god, there's a bunch here. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry I'm like spending so much time trying to figure all this out, but you do that. Okay, you. I do a rush attack on maybe these guys? I think so. Yeah, okay. Let's do... Uh, go up here. Nah. I feel like I just missed one. Maybe not. Okay, you. You, you, you. What do I want to do with you? 
Uh, heavy knuckles. The ground, ground kaiju two times. Man, I gotta be, like, really close. Okay, crap. No, the missiles. Here, how about... How about that? That's also gonna be a back attack as well, so that's good. And you... I can do the same thing, but... Well, there goes my dog barking. That's... That's my dog. Come on. Okay, I, I, I think we're hanging in there. I probably should be moving a little bit, but... Oh, crap, there's a big guy there. I know he has a... Uh, I'm fairly certain he has a... Uh, armor. So, that may not be the best idea. Okay, you. I guess I'll do a rush attack. Because he'll go through all these guys. Right? No, maybe not. I don't know why I thought he was actually going to go through most of them. That was my bad. Okay. I don't know if a leap attack is going to be good here, but screw it. Oh my god, I just realized I'm doing all of that in 10 seconds. It's what, <laughs> it's what passed. Okay, yeah, I, I can tell that I'm not going to be super great at this. And I apologize, guys. I, I feel like I'm relearning everything, and I, I know that must be a damn pain in the ass. I do apologize, but I, I want to get, get better at this game. Okay, good. Who's next? So you... So I don't want to use, like, these... The, the monster blade I know is good for armor piercing. Anti-air defensive flares. Obstructing aerial kaiju and missiles. What do I have here? These are just a bunch of... Move. Eh. How was that? Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Okay. Uh, I got decent EP. I forgot how it gets recharged. I don't know if it's like over time or what, but let's see how this works. I apologize to hear my dog barking. He's being his usual goofy self um, when it comes to like barking his treats or food. He's he he's something. So there's a couple more. Oh, man. Frankly, should I just get rid of this G-Molar? Yeah, whatever. That easy. I didn't really do too much. Great. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's use this Guardian. I don't know how well it's going to work, work out for me, but... It fires multiple things. I have a little out of range. There's still a good amount of people here. That's not... Eh. Mm. You know what? Okay. Maybe I should move, like, Not right here. You. Uh... Here, this guy. I don't know if I... I don't know if I'm doing this right anymore. Uh... Okay. Just got a bunch of ground units here. I don't know if I want to keep him here because I think I want to bring him back up because of those larger armor uh, kaiju. So I feel that's what I'm going to do. Bring him up a little bit. Um, okay, with that being said and done, I think I can focus attack on these guys a little bit. Okay, good, 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 good. So now we just have the two major ones, I think. Can I do a leap attack on these guys? Not just yet. Do a rush, maybe? Why? What is he parking at? What is tackle? Tar charges toward a target area, knocking away ground kaiju in a sentinel's path. Maybe that's what I want to do instead of rush attack. Maybe that's what I was getting confused about. So what, what is... What is that on, on the ground right there? I don't know. There, there's a back attack. Don't let up. What happened? Nothing. Nothing occurred. 
Did I, miss, did I miss something there? I don't know. Can I do a rush attack in anything? Take this. Did that do it? So how come the other guy didn't do anything? Did I miss something completely? I must have. Okay. Uh, maybe the long range missiles can start doing something here. If it can even reach. It can kind of reach. Not great. Oh, wait, the railgun. That might do it. <laughs> that definitely reaches. I don't know if it's how well it's going to hit him, but... I, I need to... Yeah, there you go. I need to wipe away some... Some of its freaking health. Oh, that's a back attack as well. That did... Jack diddly crap. Where is the other guy? Wait, where's Takihara, whatever his name is? I feel like he's not doing too much. There we go. That's that's who I wanted. Um, because you have the demolisher blade. Perfect back attack, armor piercing. How was that? Beautiful. Okay. I completed the beginning of the end. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did I not choose the difficulty beforehand? I guess not. So, select the battle style that best suits you. So, we have a uh, casual which eases battles for those who want to enjoy the story, which I'm not going to lie, I feel this is what I want to choose, but I feel like I'm going to make the battles too boring. So I feel like I may just stick with this, normal being an even balance between battles and story. Normally, though, I would choose hard or a higher difficulty because I'd get the most out of the game. At the same time, I'm just a little iffy if I can trust myself with this. This is tough battles for those who want a serious fight. I don't know how true this is, um, but regardless, I think I'm just going to stick with normal. And it says to, it, it can be changed at any time. So we'll stick with normal for now. If I want a harder challenge, I'll do so. Mode selection unlocked. Play through the story in remembrance, engage in battles in destruction, and review events and lore in analysis. Interesting. So... Huh. Is this... Is there not really a, um... A linear path to this? Like, it's like, do I need to go through remembrance first? Then go through destruction there. I'm not sure. Or maybe like going through remembrance will open more destruction. But I don't know. Well, let's let's see something. I, I'm very curious about this analysis thing really quick. Looking back at the truths revealed so far. So this is regarding all events. So it tells us the year. Tells us what happened. A memory of a dream Shu Amaguchi had. It's Judgment Day. The data kaiju have made their assault, breaking through the last line of defense. To put an end to the fight, Shihiro Morimura sacrificed herself to send him back to Sumiri Bridge, 16 years into the past. Okay, and that's where she was wearing the hell katsu looking thing. Um, and this is where they find... Who was it? A giant robot crashes into water. Oh, that's when I find Juro Iazumi, but he's like, wait a minute, my name's uh, Juro Kurabe, whatever. So, man, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get so confused, and I do apologize. But interesting, it also breaks it up from in characters. 
uh, or you can do all the events. So this is nice to have. There, there's so much though, so much. We also have mystery files. They contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Use mystery points acquired in destruction to gain access to mystery files? What the hell? Mystery points? Ha have I been getting those? I have two, apparently. If I'm, I see they're in the top left. As the story progresses, these files provide answers to mysteries related to the individuals and incidents that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the protagonist's events, receiving them as battle rewards, and by using mystery points you obtain through fighting kaiju. So, do I need to? Like, for example, like, uh, Tsukasa ok Okino. Do I need to use mystery points, or do I just keep playing the game and it'll, it'll, it'll unlock itself? You know, because I, I don't know if I want to use points when I could just get these, you know, later on myself. And if this is all of them, which I highly doubt it, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's too much here, but I highly, highly doubt this is going to be all of it. Whoop. Uh, protagonist selection unlocked. Remembrance stories diverge based on the actions you take. Huh. Seek out new paths to reveal more of the story. Interesting. Oh, what? Hold on. So, there are conditions here. Destruction first area, uh, Ashiti or Ashitaba City Wave 2 cleared. Currently cleared. And tells you where you're at currently. That's really cool. Okay, so it's like, I could go into anybody I want right now, and then they'll, I guess, diversion in a certain way. Uh, here's destruction. A new area has been unlocked. And right here. So we, we did all the tutorial stuff. Here's first area Ashitaba City. Hmm. And I can just go ahead and switch it. Yep. Tough battles one. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me go back here really quick. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to handle this. Like, do I want to just do the battles? Like, or should I? I? I feel what's more important. I should do this as much as I can until I need to, like, oh, look, look at this. Complete Nenji Ogata's Victims of Poison event. Like, what the hell's that? Like, I feel maybe I should do these until I, I get locked out and then do, the, like, the destructions and go back and forth. I don't know how I want to handle this. We also have the charts, which... I think everybody just ends at prologue, so I'm very, very curious when these paths may diverge. I didn't realize the game was going to be like that. Something like akin to the Zero Escape series, or uh, I wouldn't really say Dong and Rampa, but oh well, yeah, okay, you, you, you guys know what I mean. Sure. I guess we'll go back to Kur uh, Kurabe here. So open the flow chart by pressing square to view the protagonist's story's path. You can resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. Hmm. Oh, okay. So depending on what the hell I do here, I can go up here. Or, oh, what the hell? It, uh, well, I'm not sure if I really like that. Well, wait, hold on. I, I was going to say at first, I'm like, okay, here's the top one. Doesn't tell me what to do, but these two tell me. Ease drop on Salvatari and the others' conversation. Get rid of Chiba in the classroom or the hallway. And it says it's locked because of a stack of papers? Like a key or something or another. Okay. Huh. Oh, God. Okay, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. I am more and more intrigued. I'm not sure what I want to do just yet. Come to think of it, I saw Shiba Kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. 
Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Betty's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Why not? Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Are you okay? You seem kind of... I never finished reading this. Out. But you're just fine, right? <laughs> not sure what I want to do. I'm kind of leaning towards eavesdropping. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> and then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. You do? She always seems to... And then she... Sh I can't help... That movie's a hidden... It's tough to get a hold... Amiguchi-kun's not the most... He's smart. On top of that, he's got all the latest... Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. I just got Miyuki and Ami's Crap. new album on tape. I gotta get going. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? I should head out, too. See you, Miwa-chan. Later. Oh. Bye. I wonder if I'm doing this right. Am I eavesdropping correctly? I guess it's about that time. I, I don't I don't know if I'm doing the correct thing here. So he's doing something. Did, did I eavesdrop right? The problem is, I don't know who I I think I forgot who the hell Sawatari is. <laughs> So I'm not sure what I just, what's going on, but I apologize. Let's see if I could connect things here. Um, let's learn more about Fuyasaka. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I noticed she always leaves during break time. And what about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Oh, come on, quit it. Oh, okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. In that movie... An alien's UFO breaks down, so he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. I was about to say, is that a real thing? I was like, I don't know of UFO Wars, but I'm pretty sure, considering it was 77, he mentioned, I think they're talking, it's a, meant to be Star Wars. Was it released? Was it released in 77, though? I can't remember. I, I guess so. I'm... <laughs> I want to say I'm a Star Wars fan. Like, I like the lore of it, but to be honest, I haven't even seen any of the newer movies. Like, Episode 7, 8, 9. I haven't seen Rogue One or Solo. I have not seen The Mandalorian. I know Kenobi's coming out soon. Like, I want to watch them, but just haven't. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Want to borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck. The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. We 
We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. Kind of feels like you're using a poor guy, but all right. Well, I think we considered everything so far, but... Oh, there's my bag. Is there anything else I can do? No, I guess not. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. One for the Dimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Hey, remember the original Dimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Dimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Shot down that idea really damn quickly. So I could exit the classroom now, which... Okay, I guess I'll do. Uh, yeah, let's just enter the hallway. That was a weird walking animation. <laughs> All right, just out of curiosity, is it still... Yep, it's still here. <clears throat> Get rid of Shiva in the classroom or hallway. I need a stack of papers, though. Okay, what else do we have? Hey, if we're going to the cafeteria, that's the long way around. Let's use the other stairway. Maybe I just want the exercise, man. Okay. I mean, if we're going to, let's use or the maybe other. he just feels like walking. Who cares? Let's head to the cat. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. I highly doubt we're going to lose him. Anyone else here? Are these guys important? Maybe not. I don't know who's important or not. Because usually I can animate, like, uh, you, you know they're not important if they have regular hair. Or if they're, like, color a different shade. Like, I've been watching, uh, finally been watching Danganronpa 3. Like, the anime, the, the despair arc and the future arc. What's funny is, for the non-important students, they're all blue. Like they, they look like they're all made like a jelly. And it's like, thank you, show, for telling me what's important or not. Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Now, I've already mentioned before, I believe, that I really like the aesthetic that this game shows. And, like, looking at this cafeteria, it seems so... calming, if that makes sense. It, fe and it looks amazing, too. Like, I would love to have a cafeteria like this when I went to school. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe it's because, like, the sunset or whatever. The way, like, it reminds me of Twilight Town. And I've said numerous times, if there's, like, a place that really existed, I'd love to be a Twilight Town. Or who knows, maybe heaven's like that for me. I don't know. Oh, Juro-kun. Hi, Minami-san. So there's Minami, but before I talk to her, can I go in the background? It does not appear like I can. Okay. Uh. What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um, he's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? I'm not sure I know what she's talking about. Oh, God, I feel... I feel like crap that I can't remember what the hell she's talking about or what or the context of it. Who who's staying over and where? Cause Minami's a character, she found a little Wally looking robot 
right? I don't know. Who's that chick? Inami san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Now, whoa, what the hell's this? I was gonna consider it, and then I was like, I can recall? So I guess it's, it's like a flashback to our house. I guess let's do it. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. Okay, Fresh Prince. Uh-huh. Uh, guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. See, like, looking at all this, like, the, this setting just looks so cozy. The, the view from the house, the food, like, I don't know. It just seems nice. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? Okay, but I don't know who, who, who are you? I don't have a thought, apparently. <laughs> I fell asleep with the TV on. Might as well pres you know, preserve power a little bit. Are there chopsticks in the hallway? I guess not. Okay. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. One once again, super huge chopsticks. <laughs> She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like, for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. She probably did. These are match. <sighs> that don't. Now, I didn't realize they had chopsticks like that. I mean, uh, I guess I'm not too surprised. There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? Wait, you... Wait, so this is Megumi. Wait, you want to kick her out? What is going on, buddy? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on, we're a boy and a girl, alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you trying to torture me? Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. This is a very awkward conversation. Like, oh yeah, puberty. Oh, it sucks. I, I want you out of here. I'm kicking you out. I mean, okay. They're. T I guess they're teenagers. I. Uh, he doesn't know the idea of subtlety, but. Still, uh, who, who the hell's ringing? Him? Are you home? Minami san, couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your granny Tamao and I are best buds. 
We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Juro-kun! I didn't know you cooked! <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya! What the hell? I mean... Like, everybody's like, just decides to show up in the house? I mean, I know it's, it was four people, but still... Well, four total, but... Uh, uh, huh. Okay. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Y uh... Yay! <laughs> I did it! So by doing that, I got this stuff. I got a couple more mystery files. One was updated. It got an event archive. Okay, so that that's how that stuff works. Now, hold on a minute. So I go back to this chart. So, okay, this is what was blocked, or it didn't tell me what to do. Uh, I just had to go to the cafeteria. And by doing a flashback, this happens. But how do I get that? Maybe by not recalling it, but... I'm... Hmm... Okay... So this is... I like this. I didn't know it was gonna, it was gonna be like this, but I, I do like it. And it tells us, like, where, where we are overall with the story. Like, we're 22% done with Karabes already. Okay. Uh... Everybody else, like, you know, okay, we're, we're getting there. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I want to handle this. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just focus on one particular character until I do all that I can. Uh, but I'm assuming I'll, have, I'll get stuck, like, like eavesdropping and, uh, or, like, give her a Shiba because I'd need a stack of papers and... Like, I'm not sure what it means by, like, the, the lock. Like, it's like... I guess I don't have those. But then I have the lock here. And it says issues at home. I thought I had that recall thing. And that's how I got this flashback. So, I'm a little confused about that. And I, I apologize. But, either way. We'll, we'll keep, uh... We'll keep going at this. Uh, I'm... Oh, and that's really cool. Like, it, um... It'll be a little highlighted to show you, like, hey, this is new. She's very close to her neighbor, Granny Tamao, which is Juro's grandmother. Okay. So this is actually really good for me to, like, uh, 
remember what the hell's happening in the game. <laughs> so, okay. But yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It feels weird recording again. Um, I do miss it, obviously. At the same time, you know, because of everything that's happened, obviously this was like one of the last things on my mind. And it's like a, like a good amount of time passed without me even realizing I haven't uploaded really anything. And yeah, it's it's not like I mean to do that. You know, obviously you guys know I, I love doing this stuff, but you know, life. You know, I, I, there's there's things I need to take care of. So I'll I'll get back into the swing of things more and more. There'll be other projects. There'll be more streams and all that. And Things will be okay. Just thank you all for being so patient. Now, if I can remember my outro, that would be great. Uh, so, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time for Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Love you all so much, and don't be afraid to spread that love. Have a great day.